Hey everybody, Sam Ray of your girl, and it's obviously the day before Wednesday, which means it's Tuesday, which means I'm recording a new video for you guys. Yay! So anyway, obviously it must be my day off if it's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon and I literally changed my clothes, did my makeup, did my hair for you guys. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd still be looking like a bum. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, I have a new video for you guys today, and it's going to be a discussion video. And my discussion video is kind of wanting to know what anime do you guys think is or feel is the most successful. And at this point, I'm going to also turn my TV down. Look at that. Was I even looking? Well, just now. Never mind. Anyway, what anime do you guys feel is the most successful? So as you guys know, there's a lot of and a lot of animes out there, but I'm specifically talking about what anime do you feel is successful in the mainstream world. I'm not talking about the ones that many of us as fans know because we watched it on A, Crunchyroll, B, Netflix, C, Hulu, D, illegally downloading it or streaming it via online or some other crazy way, or by buying it in a store. I mean mainstream ones, like ones that got on television, ones that had a huge following, ones that produced merchandise such as video games, sheets, anything that you can think of. That's what I mean. And for me, there's a tie between two. I know, as you can see, I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. You guys probably can't see my sweater because of the light, because I'm facing my window. But anyway, I'm a huge Hill Sailor Moon fan, but I'm sorry. Sailor Moon is not in my top two. My top two actually has to go to Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. Those two animes, I am sorry. They will not die. Like, they're super mainstream. I don't know how many times Dragon Ball Z has risen from the grave and somehow has become like the granddaddy of all animes. Yes, the anime hasn't like been like released with the new one in a really long time except if you count like dbz kai which some people count some people don't um just because it was basically dragon ball z without all the filler but that's besides the point what i mean is this is a this is a series that can has produced so many things action figures movies it's even had a lot even had a live action i'll bet terrible live action live action movie that was released and it's had dozens and dozens of video games that have been released since it's basically came out. I mean, you have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z GT, Dragon Ball Z Kai, the numerous side movies that came out like Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan, The History of Trunks, and Brodok the Father of Goku. So who can forget all of those movies that have came out, not only not actually counting the ones of... Um, Sailor, uh, Sailor Moon, Ooh, wrong show, um, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F and Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, which came out like maybe a couple years ago or so, and Resur Resurrection of F hasn't even been out a year yet, I believe. I believe it came out like last year in like August, July, I'm gonna say August, but anyway, that show just will not die, but I'm sorry, even though Dragon Ball Z came out before the show that I'm about to say is actually number one, I still gotta say Pokemon is probably the granddaddy of them all. Pokemon is a show that keeps being released. Pokemon has been spanning 18 seasons. 18 seasons of the same show, same concept. Just different Pokemon have been being released. I started watching the show, started watching Pokemon back in the late 90s. So 1998, 1999. Is basically when I started getting into Pokemon. And that was when there was 150. Then we got 151 when Mew came out with Pokemon the first movie. Then you had all these different Pokemon being released when you entered in Johto and all these different leagues and things like that. And I'm sorry, I fell off the Pokemon bandwagon somewhere around 2004 to maybe 2003. I kind of fell off the Pokemon bandwagon. Ban bandwagon got to be a little bit too much and i'm sorry but when they got rid of misty that's when i went walking because i was like i loved misty not only that but i also love the whole love story between uh misty and ash yeah it did happen though so sad but anyway 
I just feel like Pokemon is probably one of the most successful mainstream animes that I myself can remember. I mean, this spanned toys, bed sheets, um, what else can I think of? Movies. And yes, while Pokemon does not have a live action movie yet, it actually does have so many theatrical releases. I remember when Pokemon, the first movie came out in theaters and the second movie came out in theaters. The third one, I believe, was also in released in theaters, although it didn't do that well. But the first one did excellent in theaters. Like, oh my God, I've never seen, I dragged my parents to that movie, not once, not twice, but I saw the movie three times in theaters. And Pokemon, the se the, um, Pokemon 2000, the second one, oh, I dragged my mom to see that for my birthday when I turned 10. And she was highly upset because she wanted to see Bring It On, which came out around the same time. <laughs> but it was my birthday, so I got to see what I wanted. Enough said. But anyway, Pokemon has still been creating games. I mean, you have blue, red, yellow, green, sapphire, diamond, crystal, not crystal, diamond, <laughs> um, sapphire, uh, you have Omega Ruby, Omega Sapphire, you have X, you have Y, you have Moon and Sun is going to be out as well. You have Pokemon Pinball, you have Pokemon Stadium. And for those of you guys who had Nintendo 64, not only did you have Pokemon Stadium, but you also had the reclusive Pokemon Snap. Yes, I also had that game as well. And you also, a lot of people now, they've re-released Blue and Red for the Nintendo 3DS. How awesome is that? So I'm sorry. Pokemon is probably my number one as being the most successful mainstream anime that I have ever seen and just won't die. Like, for example, oh, wait, and how can I forget the Pokemon card game? That has been out for so long and people are still buying packs. And not only that, but it keeps gaining new, newer and newer fans, like with all these re-releases and with the new game that we're still trying to figure out when is going to be released is the Pokemon Go. Everyone is so excited for that mobile game to be released. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably going to be at work like, give me a minute. I got to go catch that Bulbasaur that's in the corner. I'll be right back. And they're going to be thinking I'm nuts. But I don't care. I'm just super excited for it. I mean, who is not excited for being able to catch a real live Pokemon? Well, real live is, you know, quotation marks. But you know what I mean. But how awesome is that? So I'm sorry. I feel like Pokemon is probably one of the most successful mainstream animes to date. And I don't know if anything will ever, like, make its reign end. It'd be awesome to see if that would ever actually happen. But many people have tried. Many people have also failed. Look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at Digimon. Although Digimon has been re-released, so we'll see what will happen. But other shows... Nothing just yet has came to the successfulness of Pokemon. So once again, I pose this question to you guys. What do you feel is the most successful anime that is mainstream? I know many of you guys are probably going to say Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, Hunter x Hunter, and other shows that I'm probably not naming. But you, but this is what I mean. I mean mainstream. Like they've produced so much merchandise that you can readily find available in like your local Walmart or Target or anywhere else, not just on anime sites. And not only that, but shows where other people who aren't anime fans know about this show have either liked it, loved it, hated it, or had something of it. So yeah, comment down below on what you think it is. I would love to see you guys join in on this discussion. I have a video out for you guys on Saturday, uh, of course, and this time it will be a review, and it's probably going to be on the anime that I've actually been watching all day today, Erased. I have like four episodes left. I'm on like episode nine, and there's only 13, 12 episodes, sorry, 12 episodes, so I'm super excited to finish it. It is so good. Oh my god, it's had me enamored since the first episode. But anyway... That review will probably be out for you guys on Saturday. I'm also watching Nisekoi as well. Hope I finish up that first season too. I'm going to leave in the links down below, my links to all my social media in the description box for my Instagram, my Twitter, my anime blog, and for my Ask FM. I'm going to start posting on my anime blog pretty much every day, Monday through Saturday, Saturday including videos for, this, videos for my channel as well. Sundays are probably going to be the only days that I will not post anything just so that I can have one day to actually rest. But I figured it'd be good for me to be productive today. <laughs> but yeah, you guys check out more of my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for checking out this video. I hope you guys subscribe and hit that subscribe button below. And give this video a thumbs up if you like. Um, if you're already subscribed to my channel and you're just checking my video because it alerted you, thank you for checking it out again and 
you know, popping in and saying what's up with my video. Hi. All right, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, night, week, whenever you guys are watching this. And feel free to, you know, stick around for more videos. All right, you guys. Bye.